Hello everyone, so now we're gonna make our album cover and I already have my binding right here this is the Hidden Hinge Plus Binding System by Kathy King and I will put down the link in the description box for the video tutorial of this on her um, channel so for your cover you will need chipboard pieces and you have to cut one piece of three and a half inches wide by nine inches long and then two pieces of seven and a half inches by nine inches long for your chipboard pieces and then one piece of Tyvek that measures seven and a half inches wide by nine inches long so if you don't have Tyvek you can use your cardstock but I prefer to use Tyvek because it's more durable and it doesn't easily tear so grab your Tyvek piece and then the three and a half inches wide by nine inches long piece we're gonna adhere this one on top of your Tyvek piece guys okay like so so we're gonna adhere this at the center of the Tyvek piece okay guys so I I place my mark right there if you can see that so I will not be um, I won't find it hard to center this piece so I measure them um, two inches on both on opposite sides two inch space so I'm gonna adhere it now and on my album I use um, score tape so if you're using score tape the um, when I'm using score tape the way I put my tape is I put tape at both opposite ends and then at the top is the way I place my adhesive guys okay but I'll just use glue but this is the way I place my tape right there and then I place tape horizontally like so okay guys and then let's adhere this on the tie back piece So we have a 2 inch wingspan on both ends, okay guys, and then um, just to show you guys, I use my score tape only for the quarter inch piece.
So get your score tape or your double adhesive tape. And this is a quarter inch tape. So you will need a quarter inch tape and then we will place this at both ends or up uh, on the left side and the right side of the chipboard piece that we attached. like so then on the other side as well so we have this, so we have a piece like this just burnish your tape, score tape. Okay, guys. So, you will not remove the tape backing first. And then grab your um, 7.5 inches wide by 9 inches long piece. And then, we're gonna put our adhesive at the very edge or close to the edge guys like so and then we're gonna put also our adhesive right oh sorry at the very edge or close to the edge guys okay like that and then so imagine that this is a score tape and then we're gonna adhere this with a tape right here on this after the score tape that we place the quarter inch score tape that we put in there Sleep in baby Sleep in Excuse me guys and now the other piece we're gonna place our adhesive right here close to the edge and then right here close to the edge okay guys Then we're gonna adhere this right there. Like so. so we have a piece like this, so we have a three and a half inches wide spine and this is for your card stop or your pattern paper you will need two pieces of 10 inches wide by 11 inches long and then for the cover of the spine six and a half inches wide by 11 inches long so we're gonna do the, this side first. So we're gonna adhere it like so. So I like to place my adhesive right on the cover on the chipboard piece okay guys so I put my tape or my adhesive this um, way so I will stop right there before the quarter inch space 
the this one the space we put the uh, score tape so we'll stop right before the score tape and then place our adhesive like so okay and then I place my adhesive on the spine like so so that quarter inch space is free of any tape okay guys it is free of any tape so now I'm gonna adhere it to my cover Just eyeball center it. Okay. And I put already place glue on there. Okay, just Here, our cover here on my album I first covered it with a card white card stock and then I matte the front cover of the case so I just have to fold just halfway fold it halfway and then fold then you can burn it yes. so before we adhere this on the chipboard piece we need to remove the tape backing of our quarter inch tape yes. remove your tape backing gonna adhere this right here oh sorry sorry first we should taper our corner corners <laughs> right here guys we will taper our corner in an angle okay is sleeping so <laughs> my voice I won't be able to speak louder she might wake up okay then the other side mine is not completely glued down sticking right but it's not it's good 
using this frame so I'm gonna put my adhesive right here better to use um, double adhesive tape than glue than wet glue and then the other cover so I'm gonna use this I'm gonna place my adhesive Remember not to put any tape on the quarter inch space. Okay guys. So just eyeball center it. I think 11 inches is too long so you can um, make it less half an inch if you want whatever you prefer then let's remove our tape wrapping and then we will adhere our piece of our cover here for the first um, cover and then fold again oh sorry guys we're gonna go on the other side and then fold okay and then grab your um, cover for the spine it's by six and a half inches wide by eight eleven inches long so we're gonna adhere it like so so I'm gonna place my tape or my adhesive oops Remember not to put any tape uh, on the quarter inch um, space or the the place where you will fold. Okay guys? So just um, eyeball center it. Fold 
lang ganun. Oops, ikas na natin. Burnish guys, burnish. Okay. So that's our cover. This doesn't look good, but I know yours will be just fine. And then grab your binding. Then we're gonna adhere it right here over your spine. Just eyeball center it, guys. Okay, so for the binding, I place my tape like this. So on the side, I place my tape and then the bottom and then at the top and then across ok guys, that's how I place my tape then we're gonna adhere this my ball center it So for this album, you will need um, six hinges for your binding. I forgot to tell you. So you have six hinges right here because we have six pages, right, guys? If you make all the six pages, you have you should have six hinges. attach our pages you can um, do your cover right here already so adhere your pattern paper for the cover um, let me measure that just one moment guys so you will need um, seven and a quarter inch um, one seven and one eighth of an inch guys seven and one eighth of an inch by eight and three quarters of an inch seven and one eighth of an inch wide by eight and three quarters of an inch long okay guys for the inside cover on both sides i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that anymore okay so we're gonna attach our pages On attaching your pages, guys, you have to use double adhesive tape. And I use core tape on my album. So this is our... So we're gonna start at the last page. This is our sixth page. Or our page... Sorry, our page six. 
and we have our opening right here on the left side right we have an opening where is it right here we have an opening on our left side so we're gonna adhere that on the last hinge right here okay guys we're gonna adhere that like so okay but before that we need to taper and I forgot to tell you but you can do that you need to taper um, from this half inch we have an inch um, hinge right here guys right this is an inch and then we have an half sorry we have a half inch um, fold fold right here guys right we have a score mark here so from that first score line from the edge we're gonna taper cut in an angle like so like that so you will not go over your score line guys okay we're gonna taper we're gonna do that on all the hinges I'm sorry guys if I'm not clear today forgive me for my mistake <laughs> Okay. So we're gonna taper all our hinges. Please do that before you adhere your binding on the cover. Taper before you adhere, okay guys? tapered and then just so we're gonna adhere now our last page we're gonna place our adhesive only on the half inch not all the way down only on the half inch fold right here guys okay and then we're not gonna go over our score line we're gonna stop right there before the first score line okay guys before the first score line So you will put adhesive on both sides of that half inch hinge guys, okay? So that's our last page. And then our page 5. The left opening guys. Where's my left opening? Okay. So we're gonna place our adhesive on the half inch fold on, on both sides, guys. And then this half inch at the bottom is free of anything or adhesive. Let's insert our page. Ah. 
before that first score line guys okay burnish did you see that before our before the first score line okay pages so our this is our third page I'm ah, sorry yeah fourth page I mean Before that first column, stop, and then oh, burn it. Oh my god, oh my god, Finish yeah. this today and my, when I already set up my camera, my daughter, <laughs> my daughter woke up. So there, that's our pages right there. Okay, and then this is the folio. I place magnet at the back and um, on this cover before I mat. Before I mat this, I place magnet so it will stick down like that. Okay, guys. Oops, sorry about that. So that's our cover. Oops. 
so that's it guys we're finished making our baby mini album and I hope I gave you clear instructions and I hope you understand everything I um, I've said and I hope I explained it uh, well so you can all follow me and make this album and I also hope that you learn something from me and I get you inspired even just a little bit so um, and I'd like I'd love to see and I'd, I'd be delighted to see how your album will turn out so if you will ever make um, this album using this tutorial and if you will ever make um, videos or even just um, take a photo of the album um, if you don't mind you can share it on my Facebook page and I'll be um, happy to watch your videos and um, see your album how your album turn out so um, you can share it on my Facebook page and I will really appreciate it guys so um, that's it and um, if you like this video please give a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and I love to know what you think so please leave a comment below thank you so much for watching till my next video bye We're gonna adhere it right here at the bottom. So let's go ahead.